Uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on search and we are going to work on showing our full message. So let's start by adding our messages um, to the link, which I forgot to do. Now, um, if I go to admin, layout, sorry, layout, admin, uh, copy this line and paste it and change uh, visitors to message, messages and add messages here. All right, so we have a way of navigating to our message directly. Okay, so um, if I go to our index.html, we are going to go into post index and copy um, this search, including the paragraphs, and paste it here. And we simply change this to messages. And just like that, we have our search here. Okay, so that's very good. Now we want this to, uh, of course, work. So in our index, we are going to uh, do some checks. All right, else, and then we want to default to this. All right, so um, in here, we are doing what we've done before, messages. So it's a message dot uh, I'm going to write a method which we are going to create in our model shortly. So m matching full name or content. And uh, this is the message here. We want to match when we could search for a visitor that wrote a message or the message itself. And in here we have the params which is sent from the view. So that's the search params. And we want to have it paginated. Okay, once we've done that, I'm going to copy this method, uh, double click and copy, and go into our models uh, for message. All right, and in here, we're going to define a class, method and paste, the name of the method we've copied, and it accepts params argument. And here, we just say join. We want to join visitor to our search on message. And where, um, where full name. So searching for where full name and where our content um, are like the parameters um, searched for. Okay, so once I could put this here and this would be uh, params and we can just copy that and comma and paste all right, and end, and that's it for our method in our model. So it works exactly like it does on posts. So when we come here, we refresh the screen. We can uh, search for something, copy this and paste it in here and search, and it works. And we can search something from the body of the message and that works too. So, so our search now works um, exactly as we expect it to. Okay, so we could say these two um, are done. So now we have uh, the show method. So we want to view our entire message. All right, so what we want to do is in our index, uh, just in here below the delete method, we're going to have a link to show and we'll link it to admin message. And that's, the, that's how we map to the show method in our controller. Uh, so when we click on show, it will take us to our show uh, index, our show HTML. So I say view, admin, and message, and show is there. All right, so we could just change this, just as messages show, and delete this, and rewrite a P and a B for bold, and we say who the message is from. All right, space here, copy this line and paste it a few times. And uh, this is when the message was sent, and this is the actual uh, full message. Okay, so from would be uh, from the visitor, so it's message uh, dot uh, visitor dot full name. So this gives us the full name of the visitor who left this message. All right, so um, 
come down here we want to make sure we have message message being sent out to the view to our show view so params id okay so now we have messages there and we want to say when so we could use our helper uh, we could say time ago and message dot created at will be what we send to our time ago and the actual message we want a full message so we can just say message dot content all right so let's save this and come over here refresh the screen and we have our data all right that's the full messages there so when we click on messages here we could see uh, Kali Boyle we could click on show and we have um, everything there all right, so it works and everything works as we expect it to. So I'm going to mark this as done. All right, so we have this uh, mark messages automatically to read once we click on read and um, on, on show. So we are going to work on that on the next lesson. Um, in this lesson, we will have a, learned a few things and we're going to look into um, extracting some of this into helpers in the next lesson as well all right so that's where we are going to end uh, for this lesson and i will see you in the next lesson